What's going on, Frangers? That's right, buddy. Well, it's a great day in motorcycle hoarding town. Uh, I don't know, the guy, when the guy phones up and says you want eight bikes for 800, you say yes. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Especially when you can phone up your buddy Jim and be like, hey Jim, do you want half of these bikes? Do you want half of eight bikes? You want half of an eight pack of shitty old bikes? So we haven't even looked at them yet, so we're just going to kind of go around and see roughly what these guys are, and then we're going to see how many of them we can sell to Steven. Hopefully most. <laughs> yeah, we get our 800 bucks back. We'll get our 800 bucks, bucks back before we're halfway down this trailer. Yeah, no, you guys will be, uh, you guys uh, will be laughing all the way home. We're trying to figure out dates on these guys. Faded. It's like 70s paint. Yeah, it yeah, it looks like 70s, but it's rubbed off, eh? Yeah. So this is... Uh, Yami 250. Uh, I don't know what model this would be. Uh, it's, this one's a 74. The 175 is a okay. 74. 1974 Enduro so, yeah, 175. So where the, it's rubbed off yeah, right where it would be. It's rubbed off exactly where the date yeah. would be. Yeah. So. so we'll have to get some pictures and see what it is exactly. Yeah, they probably but, had the color schemes through the years or whatever. Yeah, it looks very similar to the one beside it. Yeah. This one, the uh, sticker is gone if it ever had one. Yeah, yeah. maybe like. Can a you see anything on the engine? Or Might be a 100 or. Ow. This we're thinking is a late 60s Suzuki SA. What did we say? AS50 Sport. Yeah. This is actually a pretty cute little bike. Um, pretty, pretty cool. I've never seen one, so we had to get that in our mitts. See the single, the solo racing seat on this guy? Yeah, that was kind of intriguing, so. This guy, 19, I think this was a 70, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a buddy, yeah, 370. Yeah, 1970 so. Yamaha as well. Uh -oh. I don't know what model. Oh, there's the boss. Hey, oh, miniature yeah. frankers, hey. how's it going? Is this the best day ever? I think so. <laughs> and then there's pieces and bits. This is, I think he said a 79 RM250. And this is probably parts for one of the Yammies. It has, yeah, there's no sticker on that one. And this yeah, is a I'm XL125 or what? I don't know. Excited over bike week here. Yeah. <laughs> it's bike week. I don't know, I think these are just pieces and here's more pieces for whatever. Enough to get maybe some of these guys going. These old ones with the steel fenders and stuff are, are yeah, pretty cool, sweet. yeah. And they're, uh, mm -hmm. so which ones look fairly complete? Complete-ish, like complete-ish, uh... complete-ish. This one needs the headlight and shit, so yeah. whatever goes with this one, we should have one parts bike with a headlight. Model AS50, weighs 73 kilograms, 100, that's 160 pounds. Look at this bag stored. I'll probably leave the bag in there for now until the... <laughs> We see who gets it in the big shakeup. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the poor thing, hey! Eh? Wow, it's been kicked What's around. That aluminum? No, oh, it's steel. Yeah, it's steel. Very thin steel. Does this one kick over? Oh yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see she's just about. That even sounds okay. Oh yeah. Impression. Yeah. Has uh, it got a shifter? The speedometer anywhere? is pretty optimistic. 100 mile an hour. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to divvy them up soccer team style, eh? Go down here. Yeah, so. All right, well, you hauled them, Jim. What's your pick? Blue you get Yamaha. Blue Yami goes to Jim. That's probably the wisest choice. Yeah. It looks fairly complete. For my, my lifestyle, this is gonna fit right in. <laughs> rack on the back. Yeah. Lots of things. Yeah. I was gonna say, it's like a trailer. It's a, they all look like enduro bikes, and I love. I don't know. I'm uh, right, I'm kind of so torn. Right next now. I'm gonna have to do some looking. Some shopping. I was at this one, but my first, my gut instinct is this guy. Yeah, it's rad. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but it's a bit of a project. It's pretty scruffy. Right? Like, how is it for, it's just, I don't, I'm not going to buy parts. If there's yeah. stuff missing, I stay in missing. That's this one is fairly complete down here, engine-wise. It's stuck. Oh no. Lots of compression. Oh yeah. So, really, yeah, it seems to only be missing a chain. Oh, you already picked. If it's yeah. stuck, it's yours. <laughs> oh no. 
Yeah. No, okay. This guy, I don't know, this looks mid 70s. It's yeah, I'd rock. say because those stripes. Like 74 ish. Maybe earlier. Holy, it's a new in there. Yeah, it's not rusty at all in here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at this one. Wow, it's like a brand yeah. new tank in there. Yeah, that's great news. And, uh, which one? This has the tachometer, that one, the speedo is broken. This one you got both. Good yeah. pick, good pick, Jim. Well, yeah, no, I just had to. It was the first one I had to pick. I knew this one, yeah. He'd knock him out of the park. I like. Oh, look at this dilly dally. Jeez. I mean, half of our gym class would be gone. You still haven't picked your first one. <laughs> I haven't picked your team yet. <laughs> well, I, uh. <laughs> Taking in the shit pile now. No, no, I just want to know parts. <laughs> Not very complete. But if you got it going, boy, oh, just caddying around the yard. Yeah, yeah, right. That shit just screams. Yeah, it's uh it's very very tempting. Well I think I gotta go with what looks closest to rideable and as much as I don't like the paint, I would say that's this guy. Oh this is a good choice. Yeah, Especially I think with the I'll keys go, in the ignition. Yeah, I'm going this guy, but it's my first pick. Okay, Jim, you're up. Wow. That's another, that's the 1970, right? Yeah, the earlier one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. To give up its secrets. Oh, wow. Looks not too bad in there. It smells like bar salt, but that's good. It doesn't smell like varnish. Oops. Oh, that one's a little. That doesn't See, look. See, there's your difference in gases. Yeah, that's uh, that one's not looking great. <laughs> Doesn't look great. Yo, for my second pick, I'm taking this one. Oh, are you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fair it's play. Too cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good machine. Okay, so I'm this guy. I, I gotta take the little Susie. So that's these are me. Those are yeah. you. So I guess you get that one. Well, I suspect that uh, all this is staying here at Scott's because uh, I'd just leave it untied and let it fly off in the <laughs> ditch. Pedals on it or something. Okay. This is a Yami, isn't it? Yami yeah. parts bike. Is this the uh, the parts headlight or the? Well, I guess it is. Parts headlight and throttle. Oh, <laughs> this right. little lineup of derelict. <laughs> Yeah, this is a big bike. More serious. <laughs> no Might need some uh, shock bushings there. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's seen a little bit of hard wear, eh? They all roll over, eh? Yeah, it still bumps over pretty good. Still has some kind of. Oh, the uh, the cover off thing. this side is off. Okay. Oh, yeah. the, uh, yeah, yeah. Engine cover gone. I mean, it's parts, right? Oh, yeah. There's no, there's no point fixing it either. Well, see, I just need these two bikes if you want to do something with this. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll keep it here if you need anything off of it. Or you get those ones done and want one more, just come and get it. Perfect. Meanwhile, it's not in your way. I've got the lineup so I can store it. Oh, yeah. And if it, uh, it gets going, meantime, great. Exactly. We're good. It's going to be like the shortest Will It Run episode ever, buddy. Oh, yeah. It will run, you'll have to say. Yeah. This episode is going to be called It Will Run, but how quickly? So. I think uh, I think you made the wisest choice here. Your bike is the only one with a chain. Yeah. It seems to be actually really complete. 
The clocks look just like your 500. I know. Is that, look at 4,900 miles, man. Good. If you can get it going, when? Yeah, when, when it gets going here. Tires are good, little knobbers here. Yeah. Oh, Yokohama, very popular in Japan. Well, it's got a plate from 84, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, it's got full uh, lights and stuff. Oh, you yeah, could, you can drive this, it's road legal. Track. Road, road legal-ish. I think that slide is all that's keeping us from okay. being around the yard here. Yeah, brakes feel good. Well, fork seal leaks. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should trade back. Yeah. Okay. Done. I didn't get a good. <laughs> done. <laughs> it's a deal. Okay. Well, I got that that clamp okay. off loose anyway. Ready to rock and roll. Battery. Oh yeah. There's even a cute little rubber band that holds it in here, and that hasn't perished yet. This battery's nice. Oh, there's no water in it. Oh, man. It's not all roses, I guess. <laughs> hey, the battery breather layout. Oh, is it injected? Yeah. Huh? That's nice. That is but pretty the guy nice said, don't trust the injection thing. Mm. So the injection on, or on, was on one of these bikes. But, uh, <laughs> one of them, any one of them. That mosquito season, you might as well just run it as rich as you possibly can. Yeah, yeah I think this thing would clean up, pop a few dings out of it. And, yeah, right? And, uh, there you go. Rotate it. Is that enough to get yeah. shit happening? Oh yeah, it's sliding now. So... Yeah, if you just want to hose a bunch of Gibbs in there. In the, uh, just yeah, in the... Yeah, just in the, uh, the chamber. Oh, yeah. Now yeah, you got action. Getting some action here now. You've got the little boot that goes on the top here. Prevent any sort of water ingress. I'll do my due diligence and try and get fuel through here to the carb, and once I get that, there's this little hose clamps in mint condition. Perfect. Even these hoses are still supple. Oh, super outboard motor. It'll work. What the hell is this thing? Door pour. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh, come on. There you go. But not on the original paint. Oh, I know, eh? Well, if that's the first time this has happened, I have to give her a little wipe down. Yeah, it certainly probably won't get the 100 miles per gallon that that uh, Suzuki is claiming. <laughs> so, now, we go to... Oh, yeah. Hey, choke. On. All right. This thing should just fire up here. All right, get it. Run. Holy cow, it's gonna go.
pole is it starting to stick again? Yeah, you can't rev it up. It doesn't come back down immediately. We'll just give her so another. you think a cable? No, it's just, I think it's still sticky in that slide. There you go. I think there's enough oil in. <laughs> not much clutch action though. Stuck or? I'm not too sure. Seems to pull. Uh, it's probably just stuck from sitting maybe. Would it be better to have it on the ground? Oh uh, yeah, probably. Put a little bit in. Idle. That's unbelievable. Are you going to get through there? eight bikes one of them had to be good <laughs> yeah that thing is good i mean it's got a lot of power yeah when it starts climbing yeah. up there well, when it hits what? the band there it takes off i uh i was being pretty careful oh good yes <laughs> I, I cracked it once and i was like whoop like, hey grandpa yeah. don't end the day on your ass i'll do some digging i think it's a pretty cool machine uh, and a lot of the parts like the the fucking peg cover. I can still go to Suzuki and order those. Mm -hmm. Michael like order a set now just so that it happens. The best thing about it is it makes the black one look big. Yeah, I know. As soon as I sat on it, I'm like, that thing looks huge compared to the little one. Yeah. So we think it's late 60s AS50. It did have signal lights. Yeah, it's got one hanging in there. Yeah. Huh. So, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, we have a couple of classic Suzuki's here, so it'll fit right in. Uh, I think I have a headlight for it. So, um, I have a parts buggy of one of these. So we'll have a look, showing 8,000 miles. Probably the equivalent of 200,000 on one of these things. Not very many survivors. These were just throwaway. Probably most of them lasted about two or oh, three I years. I suspect somebody buying a 50 was not their, yeah. well, not their fourth bike. Yeah. Their <laughs> right. first. Well, there's little bits of wiring and pieces and shit on it. And it is uh, it is what it is. I've seen worse and I've seen better. Uh, probably, I don't think it's without value completely. I think it has, has a rideable machine. I think it has a certain amount of value. Are you ready to go back in for another one? Oh, I love this bike. This yeah. thing is, uh, this is super tidy. It's just a couple little things that... Yeah, this would make a, Geneva. this would make a splash at the motorcycle show, I think. Yeah. And people get tired of looking at the same great big cruisers every time. I couldn't make it any smaller. I couldn't even get on it. Yeah, here, I want to see if I can sit on it. I'm feeling I'm going to break it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is parked up here. Well, and the pipe's meant though, so there's no way it went over on the right. The pipe is flawless. Or on the left, sorry. But look at the, look at the pegs. 
They're both just folded back. Oh, probably some kids were field bagging it for years until it just wouldn't go another inch. Yeah, I guess. I mean, this in the 70s would have been just like, hey kids, go Worthless right junk, yeah. But it was oil injected, which is a bit of a surprise. Yeah, it's actually got a, and a five-speed gearbox, which is, for a, a moped class machine, pretty impressive. Suzuki had uh, seen this on a few of their bikes. Somebody's a nice touch. Butchered that in there, but they have an internal carburetor, so the airbox fed a chamber here. Yeah, and the chamber only got clean air. Yeah, except from the hole in the bottom that probably should be plugged a bit. Yeah, she's not exactly cherry. No, spike spinner ridden hard. Although that black one didn't look a hell of a lot better when you got it. No, true, and it wasn't complete either, the but there was two the of them. You need two. Yeah, there I was think realistically two. you try and find another one. It's the fender that's gonna be a little tricky because it's chrome. Look at that teeny front brake though, holy cow. Makes that one look like it's a yeah. full on race bike. Like a dump truck. Yeah. It's like a four inch drum. So we, I love it. Uh, any viewers have any uh, airbox covers? Say the word. Yeah. Calling all Suzuki Calling all viewers. Suzuki enthusiasts. Yeah. We should see if the headlight on the other one is the same. What is this? Suzuki M M12, 50 cc. Year. Nine, look at that, 1963. Well, that's, that's an old style. girl. Yeah. Well, that explains why it's not quite the same. Maybe the barrel and carb would be the same, but it's not a, not the same setup. No. Maybe you need that. I don't know. I need this. What is that? I passenger have one peg? Passenger peg on my Oh, but look. Holy shit. That's not I did correct. not expect that to be but any good. It's not screwed, that's just glued on. But you got some shift, you got your directionals here, you got original... Which surprised me that this had turn signals. Yeah. Because the uh, Olympian didn't. Look at those bars, man. Oh, and there's a... Uh, the bars are decent. Another exhaust hanger. The bars are... Are they straight? Yeah, they're oh, kind of interesting, too. They're really As tall. a matter of fact, check this. Because the, the other one might, might be, be broken. Same. Yeah, so, and the light. That looks like the same light, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we need we need to take that out. Oh yeah, that's what the kids are doing yeah, these that's days. What the kids are doing these days. Yeah, just one more trend that I'm probably gonna miss out on. I don't know. Man. Putting the fairing way up in the air like an. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that aesthetic has missed a foothold here. What else we got back here? Just dead Plymouths and wheels. This one looks like she's been endowed a few times. Look at the way that wheel oh. is centered in there. Look Ouch. at the, the this thing is bike. beat down. Dirt bikes part two, Frankers. Have we established exactly what this thing is yet? Uh, we think early 70s. It's a Yamaha CT1 175, I think. Right on. Beyond that, we, I don't know, mm. here. Your guess with the years. Yeah, mine. early 70s, I guess. Mm -hmm. Stephen unable to resist buying it off of me within 24 hours. Well, less than. Yeah, probably, actually, yeah. No, work only commenced. I think you had it in mind at before I got it off the trailer, so yeah. that means you're the right owner for this puppy. And you're working on it more than I would have. What are we doing here? Um, this thing hasn't run in a while, so uh, we're just... Uh, we, by we, I mean Stephen is going to work on it and see if it'll go. So, just chicken shit stuff. Change the gas, check if it's got spark, and kick it a whole bunch of times and see what happens. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm waiting for him to fix it so I can go for a ride. <laughs> Frankers is helping. Today I'm polishing this outboard motor that we painted. And uh, perhaps we will have a look at that in a few minutes here few minutes being sometime in the next 30 days. Frankers is keeping herself very busy bothering the neighbor's dogs today. Frankers, where are you going? 
Okay, attempt number one. Seems like it should have gone by now. Try the other plug, I guess. Well, that was the second plug. Join us for attempt number two sometime later. Okay, we primed it with a little gas. Let's see it. Was that a sound? Better. Sounded better. Okay. Yeah, should probably take the carb off. Okay, so with gas in the cylinder, it pops. That was a sound of a pop, was it not? Yeah. yeah okay. All right. Well, there you go. It's carburetor time. That never happens. Ooh. We gotta put a chain on it and go for a rip. Yeah, no, it needs more work, definitely. Uh, not much more. <laughs> so, leave it running. What does this do? Orange, okay, it's not a kill switch then. What's this? It's a thunder switch. Oh. <laughs> Any leaks? Damn, this thing runs great, man. Cool thing. Does that shut it off? No. no, no. How do you shut so it off? Hotline. Yeah, nothing shuts it off. You don't even have any way of shutting it off because you can't stall it. There, nicely. Nice. Well, that's fantastic. Well, <laughs> that was an epic cloud of smoke too. Yeah. Sweet. Classic outboard day. Have we done this before? We have a lot of outboards and we, yeah, we've fired up a few. Anyway, this is one, I don't often do them for other people actually ever, but. So this one is for uh, Agent 533 and Gord. So short of the handle being done, um, which uh, Gord is going to do, the, the rest of it is pretty much ready to go. So we thought that we should have a look at it. So the color is a pretty close match to a GM color. The, uh, the lighter color, I think, was also a GM color. Or at least matched one very closely. I think, what did we say this was? 55? Outboard motors were uh, the first uh, powered vehicle that I was allowed to drive, so. Maybe that's why I kind of got a weird thing for uh, garden tractors then. Uh, the other thing we were allowed to drive was a moped. And, I mean, you just can't go back. Uh, Eaton's Viking was their brand, so of course Eaton's wasn't just gonna have like an engineering department. Eh? Imagine the Eaton's guys. Hey, 
we should sell out boards. Okay, I'll get Phil and uh, and they were a big enough company that would buy enough outboards that people, that companies like OMC would uh, would give them, you know, their own brand. So it's essentially uh, uh, an OMC motor, identical with a, with a different case on it. Huh? With a different case on it. Yeah, I believe the case is different. It's different than the Johnson and Evinrude cases. Yeah, and the their own color scheme, but mechanically, this has got Evinrude parts on it, and you just paint them. That's <laughs> the right. in-depth. We're reaching the outer yep. limits of our really mm -hmm. detailed, yeah. off-the-cuff knowledge about, yeah. about various department store licensing brands of yeah. the late 50s. These motors were made in three basic blocks. Uh, there's uh, in, the, in the two cylinder models. This is the mid-sized, so this would have run from, I think, 12, 15, and 18 on this block, and then uh, there was the big, the big block was 25, 30, or 35 horse, and so this is the the middle, the mid price model. Really, this would be like a like a it's a Chevy 210. Mm. You know, it's not. It, you could do a lot worse. Yep. Chevy 210. For the lake, yeah. nice machine. These things almost never need repair. You, they are they're some of the finest made uh, equipment. The the quality of all of the work on it, the quality of all the casting, and of all the the fit, uh, is really remarkable. And I mean, just look at how nice it is, you know. Mm. Just feeling all the weight of all the detents in these things. Oh, I know some. Right, the nice, like lots of tight tolerances. Everything designed not to, you know, not like to be shit. Really nice. It's just not supposed to be shit. And these things, you can just leave them hang on the wall for forty years, pull them off, and give them a couple, and they go. Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate the the really they'll be all gone before anybody even cares, you know. So it's nice that uh, that uh, Gord would would save this because. Uh, oh, it's a real nice piece. It yeah, really is. I think it's a fun piece and a fun conversation piece. I don't know if you guys remember the '61 Plymouth that I bought at that uh, farm auction. Uh, Jim was there at the same time. Well, he bought the Plymouth for me, and while he was there, he picked up this. This sweet pea. It's 1962, Jim. Yeah, 1962. 62 F350 with a with an old service body on the back. 292 yeah. wide block. One of the last of. Oh, still generator. Yeah, six volt or 12 volt generator. 12 volt, yeah. Yeah. A yeah, little two barrel. Pretty intact. Oh well, yeah, really. Uh, had some sort of rattle can rebuild, but. Uh, yeah, did it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything's orange. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all Chevy orange. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess to match the distributor at the back, they wanted to come. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at these old girls, eh? Yeah, wow, they those uh, are. Thanks. Those me. are classic hoses. <laughs> Beyond uh, the shoe polish treatment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your just problem? Uh, you think? Oh, yeah. oh, just general, general gunk. General dismay. Like the uh, accelerator, accelerator pump. pump was sticking. This oh, is okay. really nice. I've never seen them before with a bushing in there. No kidding. Well, yeah, it's very well very built. Very nicely made, yeah. Well, yeah. and the is the diaphragm okay? Uh, it's fair. Poor. <laughs> poor. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's poor, yeah. That's so not going to work. Yeah, I get a, spend the 20 bucks and get a kit. Yeah. Let's uh, have a quick look at the service body on it. Did you say it had an old snap-on box in it? Yeah, it's got an old snap-on tool box. It's Whoa, look at this classic tire moment. <laughs> it's got classic cupping. Yeah, classic, classic tie rod failure. Good year. Yeah, yeah. Old high mile, super high miler. Yeah, well, they weren't lying. There's <laughs> high miles on those guys. <laughs> yeah, some nice little whiskey dent in the front there. Oh, Nothing yeah. Nothing really too outrageous. Clutch probably popped it, out it, it looks a lot like the whiskey dent on the 61 Plymouth I bought at the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, that's cool. Uh, this stuff is still everywhere in Alberta, hey? Oh, yeah. There's still it's lots nice, of these nice around. Place to be. 
Yeah, if this is your kind of rig, then you should live in Alberta because yeah. we got this stuff. You got enough change in your pocket to outbid a scrap guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing with this stuff. What a shame is that the few that are left are all getting junked. Yeah. Four speed. See if I can find the rear end. Oh, it's the truck. Five thirteens. <laughs> Ouchie. Yeah, you won't be going super. Oh, Rangoon Red. Yeah. I'll be damned. That's cool. So that's the same color as the Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, right on. Slight A Missing post. the Rangoon Red there. Yeah. <laughs> you just need a touch up paint bottle there. Yeah. And uh, as far as we can see, never painted. Yeah. So the box, obviously not original, but probably put on when the truck was almost new. Yeah. I suspect this is a school bus sheet metal, I had to guess. Oh. Well, that's weird. Oh, sure. <laughs> Look at the flare, eh? <laughs> yeah. And I Did you do that? Learn a thing or two from yeah. your shaping there. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, no, that was done, eh? Yeah, it was done. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, pretty sweet. Some nice fender flares. <laughs> and then they repaired that. Oh, yeah. Look at there. the repair on that. Yeah, that's cool. Is this... Oh, oh, I'm not going to get too carried... Fuck, I ruined it. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah, no, it's kind there of a, go. a real delicate thing. Yeah. yeah so, no, oh, there's the door. Door here, yeah. Wow. This, yeah, it's missing the badge, but you can sort of see it's faded. It'd be snap. Oh, sure, yeah. Snap on. There's the S, yeah. Yeah. Right on. And then this is a nice little feature the guy built here. This you think this is a homemade here. box? Yeah. Probably. Uh, maybe. It's got lots know. of nice features. It's pretty nice. Look at that. Wow. Got all oh, your yeah. tools ready to go. Keep all your extra rust in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there's a couple of them still moving. There's evidence of a large wrench that there was, in was there. A, Yeah, that's where you'd put your <laughs> one and a quarter inch wrench. Yeah, some people use a Sharpie, but why not just use rust? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's worth the price well. of admission right there. The admission price wasn't too much on this guy, was it? No, it's 450 bucks. 450 bucks. And it drove what itself a onto deal! The no kidding. What a cool truck. Oh, those are the plates that was on it. <laughs> okay, so that's 30 years ago. You look nice like nothing, but you got nice little spring-loaded bolt pins here. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah with bolts. Bolts in here. So. Was that flasher? 12 volt flasher. Oh, oh, what if that just uh -oh. slipped into my pocket, yeah. eh? That's oh, you cool. sure you repair your own faucet kit? It's not going to slip into your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let them leak. Watch. Those are nice. Like, this yeah, that's work cool. Nice workbench. should be rebuilding the carb on this, really. Watches work good. I think there's... Oh, there's, oh, there's bottles there. Part wasp nest, and then, yeah, he had a bunch of bottles set up. <laughs> oh, that, uh... And the like doors themselves, yeah. quite good. Oh, he had a sign it's, screwed on there. Yeah, I think that would have been too bad. Yeah. thing there. It's but, nicer than the other side, but uh, I remembered wrong. The other side's nicer than this oh, side. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, your car needs to smell like beer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Miller High Life air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, it's just the air freshener. It's just the air freshener. Yeah. Any classic darts? <laughs> <laughs> nope, disappointing. <laughs> okay, well, we better go then. No, we actually came here because uh, we wanted to show uh, one of the bikes that we got at the, the bike clear out last week here. Yeah, some people get rescue dogs. We got rescue That's right, bikes rescue here. dirt bikes. <laughs> uh, this one. Oh, that cleaned up really well. Oh, man, yeah. It's one of those things that started. Polishing the chrome and thought, well, I better do the other wheel, and then yeah. Yeah. Leads to another next way. thing yeah. you know, next thing you know, it looks brand new. Really that was nice cool. Thing. And have you ridden it since? Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I actually just rinsed it down with the hose because it's all muddy from just going oh, yeah. around. Look at the seat and everything on it. What a great, great, uh, great piece. Well, sometimes you got to take a chance and buy shit over the phone. Oh, exactly. Yeah. But the odds were in the guy's favor. Eight bikes, have one had to be good. Yeah, well, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Will it start if I go around the yard? Oh, yeah. Okay, just get uh, neutral. There you go. Ah, 
Yeah, loop her out. <laughs> Oh, uh, that middle way is kind of the, uh... Did you figure out the year? Uh, 74. 74. And the other Yamaha. one's a 73. So it, uh, that's halfway. I want, I want to keep them because mine's a 75, my 500. Oh, okay. So you kind of, you know how you complete the bingo card? Oh, yeah, I know. You got to fill out the card. That's yeah, right, yeah. buddy. Yeah. This is the 75 uh, XS 500. XS 500, yeah, that was cool. Well, we've seen. Yeah. I don't know if we've seen this bike on our show, it's but smaller sibling of the XS 650s, which are the super popular ones. Right. These are the rare ones. Yeah, the very much in the there, style of the other ones. Covers, they're yeah. all. Uh... And uh, yeah, this guy's next, I guess. Have you put a wrench on it yet? Uh, no, no, oh, I just no hurry, I washed for sure. it and then. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is after. Uh, okay. Oh, it kicks over, so it's. Oh, it'll go. Yeah. Is, what yeah. color is that? It's a it's green. A cool metallic green. You've been pretty badass back in the day with having oh, this, eh? Yeah, just barking this thing around. Yeah, I like the old ones with the metal fenders and stuff. Still. So. Oh yeah. Right on. And the Thanks, torque sir. induction. It's reading about that, they've got extra ports on them, I guess. Or... Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's the reed valves and there's ports on the piston or something. Yeah, okay. Conducts a little more torque. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just a really pretty picture for a nice August evening, eh? Oh, yeah, eh? Actually nice to get out the old Honda and go for a ride today. Um, yeah, well, we'll do a much do more extensive look at this. Yeah, Jimmy's Mercury collection. We'll do a, a full feature on this lovely 1941 Mercury very soon. Just uh, letting Jim finish doing some, what do you got left, buddy? Not much, right? On this? Yeah, yeah no, not a heck of a lot. It's actually uh, legal and plated now and inspected and ready to go, so. Uh, this machine deserves more than a 10 second look. It's a really amazing original car. Uh, oh yeah, we've already <laughs> seen that. <laughs> oh yeah. When your choices are this or that, oh, life's yeah. not too terrible, I eh? Traveled back in time. Well, yeah, yeah. At least one thing right. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And your other Mercury? Yeah, it's still, uh, still uh, storage for that box in there. And yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, you're getting some panels made up for it. And oh, yeah. And this is an easy project, too, compared to most. Yeah, this is a good car. But then when you get something with zero welding, it's just... Well, <laughs> that's right. This is a good easier. car, but that's a better car, you know? And yeah. uh, I would have done the same thing if I was working on this and that other one came along. Well, and so, these, yeah, are the, these are for the... These are for the oval? Yeah, that 56. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And Man, there's some real nice uh, my classic uh, tune-up parts. Oh, we these boxes stuff from it's like the 50s Holy and 60s. Cow. There's Chrysler stuff in there, so you might. Uh, oh yeah, pocket time. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, yeah it's falling down. So yeah. Load it up yeah, right. Is that points? Oh yeah, there's. Points. Oh yeah, I don't this, like that kind of thing, eh? Is. Yeah, oh. and it'll probably fit 20 of my cars. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Huh? You know exactly where they are. Yeah, and then that's there's right. rotors. I think there's, are there some Chrysler's that have dual points? There's a whole bunch of dual points for something. Really? Brush dual stuff dual point too. stuff is pretty rare, I think. I mean, well, look at that. And yeah, this must have all come from an old garage. That's a flathead uh, yeah. distributor cap. That's great. Well, somebody's got to save all this stuff because exactly. people just throw it all out now. All this junk. This guy will be sticking around. I've already uh, sold a, a couple of the other ones and given one of them away, but this will be sticking around for the collection. This is a 1970 uh, Yamaha 360cc. Uh, she's a little tatty, but 
uh, not very many of these survive, so I think that's worth keeping around. Just another look at the Yami. Pretty cool old stuff from a time when off-road bikes had steel fenders and actually nice gauges. It'll be a nice, uh, nice friend for my uh, XS650, which is about the same vintage. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. That's right, buddy. 